so excited. Oh, we have okay. Jalen Steele here from Mamma Mia. Welcome to the Fabulous Fox and to St. Louis. Thank you, Judy. It's such a pleasure. I'm very, very excited to perform Mamma Mia at the Fox. <laughs> it's fabulous there. Have you been there yet? Um, I don't think so. I think this is, if I did, it was a very, very long time ago. We toured a lot of places uh, with one of the first tours that I was a part of. Uh, St. Louis may have been one of them. <laughs> I'll know when I get there. It's that feeling you get yeah. where it's like, oh, I've been there before. <laughs> yes, definitely. And I think the Fabulous Fox to me, and um, and I grew up in L.A., but I've been all over to all theaters everywhere, of course. And to me, the Fabulous Fox is is a treasure. It's just so beautiful. Oh, amazing. I'm so yeah. excited. The history is great. But history, theater people know. Anybody, Broadway comes from New York, they know St. Louis loves theater. We love Mamma Mia. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, I don't know how many times that Mamma Mia has been here, but um, trust me, it will probably be sold out. So uh, yeah. if you're watching this, get your tickets early. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and part of the Broadway series. So Jaylin, talk about what part do you play? Okay. I play Tanya and uh, one of the, the dynamos, if you will. She is my favorite character in the film. She's my favorite character in the show. She's yeah. the best character. <laughs> she is a lot of fun to play. It, it's, it's a lot of fun, fun to play Tanya. Um, she's one of those characters that she'll give it to you straight when, when you need it. But she's she's playful and she, she can be a little coy and catty sometimes, too. <laughs> I absolutely, but she is there for mama, that's for sure, and her friends. Yes, indeed. Yes, she is. She is there for, for, for Donna, and no matter what choices she's made, what, no matter what she's done, she is definitely there for her and supporting her all the way. <laughs> yes, financially too, which I love about her. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, <laughs> Very rich. It might not all be her money, but she's very, very rich. <laughs> I, I, every time I watch it, I go, God, I got to learn from her because my exes are not that rich. <laughs> I need to learn from Tanya as well. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so have you done been you've have you done Mama Mia the touring before? Because you said um, earlier before, or is this a first for you? I've toured uh, the the tour I was talking about was Fosse many 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 many, <gasps> many. Oh, great show uh, um, but uh, I have played Tanya before uh, it's a uh, in Indianapolis uh, at the Beef and Boards Theater um, that was like, my first taste of 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 Mama Mia and it's it, it's amazing how excited everybody gets about the show like I didn't have any idea until I played that role you know how fun it is and how people relate and just love to come in and that music of ABBA oh. I mean it just sticks with you uh, for a long time so everybody enjoys it so it's exciting to see <laughs> so take take uh people you know that don't know anything about theater they don't realize they may I don't know the work <laughs> involved and it starts with the audition. So talk about that. I'm always curious. <laughs> oh, well, this one, it was it was a process. Uh, I, I think we started auditioning for the show in January of last year. Uh, oh. the, the preliminary auditions where it's kind of like you, you come in, they call people in, uh, it's the initial round, and then you get callbacks. And so the callbacks that happen, you sort of, uh, they group you in with other people that they're interested in and everything like that. And me in particular, I had no idea. Well, I go in first and I'm just like really excited to do it. Uh, but actually I was in the same group as Christine who plays our Donna um, in, the, in the show. So it was really exciting to, to kind of play off of her. And I, I knew from, from that moment that we would get along great. So that's, that's one of the amazing things about this show. All, all the dynamos we actually love each other in real life. I love that. And I think it's important because you are, you're playing these characters, you know, and, and I have not, I have not yet. Now, maybe they're not telling me the truth, but I have a feeling I can see through it. I have not met a company yet, at least that's come through St. Louis, where they don't love each other. I mean, yeah, you just, yeah, when you're touring... Yes, yes. It's such a it's such a, a, a strenuous process because, for example, for our weeks, we will uh, Monday is our travel day, so we'll mm -hmm. travel, we'll fly, we'll bus, we'll you know you know kind of kind of go across country. <laughs> yeah, we get in that day, and then that Tuesday we've got sound check. They're, they're putting in the set, they're putting in the costumes, they're doing the lights, everything on the Tuesday. Then we're there through Sunday. 
and then mm -hmm. we do it all again on Monday. <laughs> so, wow. yeah. so when you got the role, I mean, it, first off, a lot of people don't realize how many callbacks it takes. Like you said, it's a process. Yes, I think um, I went three times total. The, the initial one, and then there was the uh, one for the casting. Well, the, the, the original one was for casting. Then mm -hmm. there's the casting and sort of like, you know, everybody like, okay, let's see who we're really going to do. And then the final callback with everyone in the room. <laughs> so, Ooh, yeah. that must be so nerve wracking, I would think. <laughs> It is. It's uh, half of auditioning is trying to calm your nerves and have yes. fun. <laughs> yes, totally. So, so, um, so, what other shows have you been in, by the way, besides um, Fosse? I well, besides Fosse, um, I did my first off Broadway show was Sisters the Musical. It was at. Oh. Uh, Luke's on 46th Street. Uh, I love that little place. It, it was it was absolutely amazing to sort of uh, get my toe in the water, I would say, as far as Broadway. And then uh, after that, I did The Lightning Thief, uh, mm -hmm. which was like all the kids love, 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 oh, love. Oh, yeah. Thief. And adults, too, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea about uh, Percy Jackson until the callback audition for that show uh, when I had to learn some of the music. And I was like, I saw like over a million views for some of the songs. And I was like, wait, what is this? <laughs> right. It's a great, great show. I've heard. I haven't seen the show yet, but Percy Jackson, what a talent. It's 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 amazing. Um, mm -hmm. We we actually did the tour first, and then on our last uh, week, I believe we were in Boston. I think they mm -hmm. called us and they said, "You're going to Broadway," and so that I made my Broadway debut with the show too. Wow, Jaylene, that's amazing. Yeah, so where are you from originally? Originally, I'm from Texas, but uh -huh. I've been an East Coast girl for 20 plus years now. <laughs> You know, when you move to New York and you, you have the dream and all of that yeah. stuff like that. I moved to New York. I believe it was, oh, it was 2001, the coldest winter in 100 years. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you don't even look like you're 21, so I can't even believe that one, you know. I'm like going, okay, wait a second. No. <laughs> and I, didn't, I never, I, I as a performer myself, I never, ever ask age, so I won't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, but, I, so, I, I, I I am definitely seasoned. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I, seem so relaxed. That's why, too. You know. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I try to take a lot of value in finding the time to self care. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> know that. Know that what we're doing. I mean, it's not heart surgery, but it is important because we still get to tell the story and touch people and audiences and. And you just never know how you'll affect someone in the middle of the audience. So I kind of just take all of that into consideration and 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 I'm just grateful for what I do. <laughs> I love that. We have a lot of talented um, people that come out of St. Louis. And so there's a little girl and she's, let's say, middle school. And her dream is to become a Broadway star. What would be Aww. some advice? Uh, get the classes in early, start learning your craft, learning your talent and your tools and what you have. Um, start learning that now and work, 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 work on achieving yeah. and perfecting that. Well, close to perfection as you can. <laughs> <laughs> we all have imperfect perfections, which is what makes us unique. But I will say start early as far as like, you know, learning and taking as many classes as you can. There's like vocal classes on YouTube. And it just, I mean, all kinds of things where you can learn, 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 learn as much as you can. And then whenever it's when you feel that you're ready for it, get that experience in. go do some community theater, do some some things where you get on a stage and you can get a chance to uh, to perform and things like that. I, mm -hmm. I was born. Uh, my father was a pastor. And so I started singing in church at like age two. <laughs> I was going to ask you about, you know, what, how you started and what did your, pa your dad's a pastor need to go, wait a second, young lady. <laughs> Well, I, I started singing in the choir. My mom also played for the the, the church choir. So I was I was singing and, and sort of performing at church live uh, at a very young age. That's kind of how I started out. But uh, the acting bug didn't bite me until I would say, <laughs> I'll tell you this, I did a vacation Bible school. And so we would have a play in vacation Bible school every year. And uh -huh. I would love to play the little, the little bad kid. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, I love it. Turned around and finds the kid and all of that. 
I was like, well, it's more fun. Awesome. It's character. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yes, it's care. That, those are the best kind of roles, right? Yes, yes, yes. I was like, there's an arc here. You know, I could, you know, hone in on that. But I didn't get really serious about it until uh, I would say high school. That's when I was trying to decide my major. My father mm-hmm. asked me, he was like, when, if, if this is kind of how you decide what you want to do, if somebody comes to you at three in the morning, wakes you up and says, you have to go do your job. What do you have mm-hmm. no problem rolling out of bed to do? And I was like performing. That is the, that's the thing I could roll. I, you know, I might need a mm-hmm. minute to warm up at this age, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I would definitely roll out and be happy to, to sing, dance, perform and things like that. So <laughs> what a beautiful thing that your dad yeah. said. I mean, yeah. what a great thing to say. <laughs> Any parent needs to take that, that advice and say that yeah. one, you know? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. What? I've got to remember that. That's a beautiful thing. I love yeah. that. And so you've been doing it, make it a great living. You're, you get to tour uh, personal life. It's a, is it tough? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it's really tough. I'm married. So I, I, and I'm <laughs> literally the other day was finalizing plans to get my husband out here. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> But is it kind of like you have a new, new, like you meet again every time? Yes, exactly. It's like, wait, who is this person? You know? <laughs> right. But it's, it's in actuality, though, my husband and I, we um, we met doing cruise ships. I was performing on cruise ships and uh, he was a part of the band. And then I was a part of the production cast and we kind of met and fell in love that way. But we've we've always had sort of like an understanding of like, OK, we'll be away for a little bit and then we'll come and see each other. But it's just it's it's a wonderful thing. My my husband is incredibly patient. <laughs> 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 an incredible soul. <laughs> oh, I love hearing that. That's beautiful. And so I'm so I'm so excited to see the show. Um, I'm going to be coming. I think I'm coming opening night. I'm not sure. Megan knows. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really excited because this show I could see over and over again. Yes. And um, what would you say would be something, if somebody is going to come back to see the show, what would be something that might surprise them? Oh, this is such a diverse and talented cast. I'm so I get I'm so fortunate to be able to get on stage and and work with all of these beautiful, professional, wonderful people. And so uh, getting a chance to do it night after night, uh, day after day, it's 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 heartwarming and it's wonderful. And it's just like I said, it's a beautifully diverse cast and everyone brings their own uniqueness to it. And it's, it's a Mamma Mia you've never seen. I'll say that. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> I love how much Broadway has got, has gotten diverse and how yeah. they're bringing stuff back and changing the tone in the cast because it's, it's needed. It's necessary. It's needed. <laughs> <laughs> We're 2024. Let's do this. <laughs> and do it a different way and do it better. You know, yeah, yeah I was, love that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Mama Mia, are you going to do anything special while you're here? If you have any time in St. Louis, anything you want to do? I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest, though. I am such the grandma of the group. I <laughs> you're like I'm in bed. Good night. <laughs> I have a cozy blanket. <laughs> and nice no, I'm with you. Blanket. I know. <laughs> But I do every now and then I do I do take a like a little stroll here and there. There's like some artwork and things like that uh, sort of in the community. I'll, I'll, you know, take part in that. But as far as like going mountain climbing and things like that, I'm like, I've been there, done that. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there. well, if you're staying dear, near the Fox, then there's a lot of cool like there's Angard Arts Hotel. You can check out the art there, yes, have a drink yes, or, yes. you know, chill out there. It's yes. a really cool place to go. Okay. Tomorrow's Mardi Gras. It's pretty crazy. Oh, so, that's- um. That's right. Well, we're it's, still, where are we now? We're still in Minneapolis now. Okay. So. Cause yeah. you won't be in the crazy cause we're yeah. the second busy, biggest Mardi Gras town next to only New Orleans. So wow. yes, it's going to be pretty nuts. <laughs> yeah, It is. It's a sight to see. <laughs> nice. 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 Yeah. Oh so, God. um, so the, yeah, the show comes on February. I don't know the dates, but I'll pop them up here uh-huh. in a second, but I, I believe it's February. <laughs> it's <here>. next week. <laughs> So we will be playing in St. Louis uh, Tuesday, February 13th through the 18th. Perfect Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Valentine's Day plot to three dads. I mean. (laughs) Yep, exactly. You can't get more love. (laughs) 
<laughs> well, I'm really excited to see you, Jalen, and uh, really excited for you to be at the Fox. Whether it's you've been there before or not, you're going to love yes. it again. I, like I said, I'll know when I arrive. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And how long is this? Show, how long are you going to be on tour for? Uh, we're currently on tour. I believe we go through September. Wow. Yeah. I do know it was a full year from when we started rehearsal. So, so yeah, we're going to be, we're going to be out there for a while. <laughs> and people, you got to understand, yes, it's, it's fun, but when you're doing two shows, what do you do two shows Saturday or and Sunday? Five show weekends. So we have Friday, one show Friday, two show Saturday, two show Sunday on most weeks. But I think there might be, oh, do we have there could be St. Louis. We could have two on Wednesday. I have to okay. check that, that schedule. Yeah, and, but, and, and we'll have it up. If you go to fabulousfox.com, um, if you want to get the tickets, I would say again, go as soon go as you get can. Them now. <laughs> yes. Before they get sold out. Um and, and, and yeah, I definitely Wow. So that's that's long. And and do you um, I mean, this is what I want people to understand that it's it is and it is necessary. In my opinion, I think entertainment arts is a necessity because yes. what would life be like? Oh, my God. It would be so boring. <laughs> yes. So you might not be doing brain surgery, but I need this to survive. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> As we all do. Exactly. Exactly. Definitely. So thank you for doing the beautiful work you do. And I can't wait to see you. Thank you. Thank you so 